Hi guys, Mac here again. This time to talk about virtualization on Mac OS. Specifically, a question I get asked all the time, which one should you use, Parallels Desktop or VMware Fusion? Now and again, I get asked about VirtualBox 2. I don't tend to use that, but if anyone is interested, I'm happy to do a similar comparison. Let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. So this video will help you answer the question of what should you use if you just want to run Windows 10 and some productivity type apps such as Office. If you want to be doing server type stuff, perhaps working on VMware ESX, things like that, then there's other questions to ask and I won't be covering those in this video here. Again, leave a comment, I'll see what I can do on that front if you're interested. What I am interested in here is how do these two products perform? Which one's faster? Which do I enjoy using? There are some functional gaps between the two, but for what I'm talking about for office type stuff, those functional gaps, they're not that massive. So let's look at what we're all interested in really, which is performance. The demos are all running on my 8-core iMac Pro. It's a complete beast of a machine, and I have to say, probably one of my best purchases of probably the last three or four years. Anyway, let's get in and have a look at the performance comparisons. Before we jump in and look at the performance comparisons, let's have a look at the specifications of these virtual machines. So let's start with the one in parallels. There we go. If we look at the CPU and memory, you'll see that I've got four cores allocated and eight gig of RAM. And the other relevant thing is the network. I'm using the shared network and I don't have any network conditional restrictions applied. So let's have a look at the equivalent in Fusion. So we have four cores allocated, eight gig of RAM, and we have a look at the network. You'll see that I've got shared with my Mac enabled and there's no restrictions or anything like that applied. So let's jump across now and we'll look at the performance. The way I'm going to show you this performance comparison is like this, with Parallels Desktop on the left and VMware Fusion on the right. Now, I don't have both products running at the same time. There are two separate videos. I've just combined them on the screen just to make it a little bit easier to present to you. In this first comparison, we can see the startup times for the same specification Windows 10 virtual machine on both platforms. You'll see that Parallels gets us to the desktop in approximately 10 seconds, with VMware Fusion taking about 25 seconds to get to the same position. Now, I have run the tests a few times just to make sure the timings are consistent, and all the tests are showing that Fusion is, is quite significantly slower to start the machine. What about shutdown times? Well, Parallels completes the shutdown process in about 5 seconds, and Fusion's taking approximately 11 seconds to achieve the same thing. So taking a snapshot, it's something I do a lot with my VMs. I want a point that I can roll back to easily for when I mess things up. Now, Parallels again is showing itself to be the stronger performer here. It's taking consistently between three and five seconds to complete that snapshot. Now, Fusion, however, took approximately three and a half minutes to achieve the same thing. Now, I have tried this repeatedly just to make sure I'm getting the same consistent result, and I am. Now, if you look down at the dock icon for Fusion, for example, you can see that it's still carrying out the snapshotting process. You do still appear to be able to use the machine, however, while it's still snapshotting. Now, I will say this is probably one of my single biggest frustrations with Fusion's performance. It's the snapshotting. Now, if you're not familiar with snapshotting, it's essentially a way just to take a point in time image of your virtual machine, because that way, if you mess something up, it becomes really easy to roll back your machine. So what I'm going to do here, just for the sake of this demo, is I'm going to delete a chunk of stuff from both machines. And then what we'll do is we'll have a look at the time it takes to restore it from that snapshot. When restoring the snapshots then, Parallels again comes out on top. Four seconds for Parallels to complete the restoration and about eight seconds for Fusion. And you'll see that the data is back on both virtual machines. Another oddity I found with Fusion is the performance of the network stack. So on this machine, for example, I, I'm using a shared network adapter for both virtual machines. This is shared with the host Mac rather than having a dedicated network card assigned to each VM. I seem to get really inconsistent and unpredictable performance from the VMware network compared to Parallels. So as you can see here, for example, I'm running a simple internet speed test. I've done this several times just to make sure that the results are not uh, you know, all messed up. But again, all I'm seeing is relatively inconsistent performance from the VMware side of the world. Now Parallels itself seems to be performing far closer to the host iMac itself. 
Now this bit is a little bit subjective and also a little bit hard to try and demo. What I'm doing is essentially just starting up and using some applications much like I would every day with these machines. Now, one thing I am finding, and I'm not sure if it is clear in the video, is there is slightly more of a lag in the VMware Fusion side of the world than there is in the Parallels. What I find is, is that the Parallels side of the world is a lot more immediate whereas the Fusion, it's just lagging slightly. It's almost as if you're using an RDP session or Citrix or something like that. As to how much that would affect your day-to-day -day use, well, it depends what you're used to. I would notice it because I spend most of my day in parallels rather than VMware Fusion. For those that are interested in such things, here are the Geekbench scores for both machines. Now, just to be clear, these have both been ran individually i haven't done them at the same time so on the left we have our parallels which is hitting a single core score of 1005 and a multi-core score of 3415 on the right we have our vmware fusion which is showing a 927 single core score with a 3123 multi-core score so even the benchmarks seem to bear through this performance difference between the two environments Interesting stuff. From what I can tell for this type of usage, Parallels is the faster product. I'd argue its interface and integration in Mac OS is also more pleasing. That's quite subjective though, so you know you may have a different opinion on that. I was a bit surprised at the gap. Historically, I've been a big VMware Fusion fan, mainly as I use it so much to develop my server-side stuff, which is my day job, effectively. So porting things from Fusion to its big brother ESX, for example, isn't that difficult. For general office and productivity-based apps, though, it's hard to argue that Fusion is the product to choose, and Parallels appears to outperform it in pretty much every single way. Parallels, though, it's moved to a subscription-based model, which I think some people still found a bit irritating. You can still buy the product in the traditional way, I believe. Also, if you're moving virtual machines around platforms, for example, to ESX or VMware Workstation, then perhaps that's another consideration and VMware Fusion may be more right for you. Personally, I'll stick to using Fusion for my server-based stuff and Parallels Desktop for my general office environment. It would be nice to be able to standardise on one product for everything, but from my perspective, that would mean using Fusion on my desktop and knowing that there's a better, more performant way of doing what I want to do well, it just hurts my tacky soul a little bit and that just doesn't work for me. Anyway, that's enough for me today. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, I'd appreciate the thumbs up. If not, well, you have another thumb and I'm sure you can work out where I think you should put it. Any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Until next time.